Hi, it's Jen and welcome to my channel and my mission is to introduce neuroscience as a mainstream self-help tool. In this video, I will be talking about the neuroscience of forgiveness. There are three main areas in the brain I will introduce you to and I will be putting slides up here for you to see the areas as I see them. The first area is the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. This area is where we interpret things that happen in the world. It's where we decide how we're gonna feel about something. You actually can't have an emotion unless you've had a thought to make you feel that emotion in the first place, and that is what happens in the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. The next area is the precuneus, and this is where third party perspective taking takes place. And the third area is the inferior parietal lobule. This is where empathy takes place. Now we can see how third party perspective taking, empathy, and how we decide about our emotions can all be very related and of course related to forgiveness. The study that I read that really taught me all about this is called How the Brain Heals Emotional Wounds, The Functional Neuroanatomy of Forgiveness. In this study, people were given different scenarios. For example, one scenario was that you got fired from your boss and humiliated in front of everybody and there was two different groups. One group was told to forgive your boss and to understand that you were not the best employee. And the other group was told to not forgive your boss and to be hostile and to be mad at him. This is the, what the brain connectivity looked like in the group that forgave their boss. And this is the connectivity in the group that didn't forgive their boss. The blue lines indicate connectivity. This means that these areas are lighting up at the same time together, that they're working together, and that they are indeed connected. In the group that practiced forgiveness, the precuneus was connected to the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, and the inferior parietal lob lobule was also connected to the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. So in other words, this means that third party perspective taking was connected to how we decide about thoughts. and Empathy was also connected to how we decide about thought, our thoughts. And the group that didn't practice forgiveness, these, so they were the unforgiveness brain, these connections were not made. Therefore, third party perspective taking was not connected to how we decide about how we feel and nor was empathy. So this study shows the very obvious connection in the brain that happens when we take third party perspective and practice empathy and how that relates to forgiveness, whereas when we don't do those things, we do not forgive. I recommend next time you are mad at someone and don't want to forgive them, to take the third party perspective and to practice empathy and not just because that's a nice thing to do, but because it will happen in areas in your brain that will lead you to just feel better and happier in your life. It helps me to picture the areas in the brain while I'm doing the third party perspective taking and while I'm practicing empathy just so I know it's like, hey, it's not even about them, it's about me and my brain and my feeling happy. I hope you liked this video, and if you like to see more videos like this, I am planning on making many, many videos on Neuroscience as a Self-Help Tool, and I will be all putting it in this playlist that I have linked in the description, and this video is also in this playlist. So check that out if you're interested. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Like this video if you liked it. And please share it with anyone you think it would help. All right, bye.